Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to continue in their uh, pumpkin style or, or, or what have you. Uh, this is another one from Denver Beer Company. There is no dating on the can, so I do not know how old it is. Uh, this is their Graham Cracker Porter. So, uh, don't know if it falls into the pumpkin style. Or they're just trying to get the hint of graham cracker in this style, of, which is a porter. Uh, this is a 5.6% ABV. I do not have the IBUs listed for this one. Uh, commercial description says, a campfire in a glass. Hmm. This robust beauty has seductive notes of vanilla, smoked cedar, and mulling spices on the nose, a dark pour with mild lacing. She is a roller coaster of lush chocolate and big fruits, diving into a semi dry finish of truffle and cherry. So, with that commercial description, I wouldn't think they're trying to do some kind of pumpkin beer like we had yesterday from them. This is more of uh, kind of gives a graham cracker taste in a porter style beer. So, we'll see where this one ends up. This was sent to me by Nate. And the massive beer package that he sent me. Thanks again, brother, for sending me that, all those beers. Never had that many beers sent to me in one box. Very awesome. You the man. Uh, well, let's get on with this one. Wasn't impressed with yesterday's rendering of a pumpkin beer. Let's see what the, the Graham Cracker Porter brings today. And as far as a uh, style, I mean, it's listed as an American Porter. And the American Porter food pairings are going to be cuisine is barbecued, cheeses of buttery brie gouda Havarti, Swiss, and since it is a porter, it goes well with your chocolate dishes or desserts. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass wired pint becker, non like tumbler mug, style and I'm going to use a double glass of this to enhance the aromas and not recommend it for extended cellarings on this particular beer. So let's pop the cap on this bad boy. And get it into the glass and see what we got going on. I'm going to pour this kind of aggressive. See what we end up with. It is a dark colored porter style. May even be kind of dark like a stout. Let's see what we got here with that aggressive pour. Uh, just a tinge over a finger of head. Over to the light. I am not getting a little, any light around it. Not even any red ruby tinges. I cannot see the bulb through it. Maybe just a slight, yeah, just a slight hand of a, but it is a deep, deep brown or red ruby color with just ever so slightly can see some red tinges where the bulb is trying to shine through. So, not pitch black like a stout would be, but it is pretty dark for a porter. Looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. I am getting a hint of graham cracker in there. There's some cinnamon. A nice, rich, malty smell to it. Maybe there is a hint of some dark fruit or something in there. Maybe some figs or raisins. But I am getting some graham cracker. Very surprising. How did they do that? I do not know. But it does have a slight hint of some graham crackers in there. Uh, maybe a hint of vanilla. Smells tasty. Let's see if it is. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nate. Thank you, brother.
a little on the bitter side, but the graham cracker is there. Surprise! They they pretty much nailed that graham cracker taste in this. It does taste like a graham cracker. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised, I may add. It tastes like a bitter graham cracker. It, that's what it, that's what I'm getting. A bitter graham cracker. Just a little heavy on the bittering hops to me for the sweetness up front. But not bad. Pleasantly surprised. But that's exactly what I'm getting. I'm getting a bitter graham cracker. Maybe some bitter sweet chocolate in there to give that bitterness to it. Nice roastedness to it. But to me, it's not quite sweet enough for the bitterness on the back end. Almost like a burnt graham cracker. Hmm. Very interesting. Nice slicing left on the glass. But it damn sure does taste like a graham cracker. Even though it may be burnt or a little bitter, but it does have that graham cracker taste. Well, let's let it warm up. It's 40 degrees right out of the fridge. Let's see where this one ends up, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on it about 30 minutes or so. Very nice. Uh, is it, it is exactly what it says it is. It tastes like a graham cracker porter. A little heavy on the bitterness on the back end. Not enough sweetness on the front end for the bitterness on the back end. But very enjoyable. Uh, they uh, they pretty much nailed the graham cracker taste. I mean, I'm getting the graham cracker and the cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla in there. Maybe a hint of some raisins or, or, or some, uh, some darker fruit. But it's a tad heavy on the bitterness on the back end. That's the only detraction from this. Other than not having a date on the can for a little ABD beer. So Let's do the final chug. Very pleasant. Uh, guys, as far as I'm concerned, this is a B-plus beer if it had a date. But it does not have a date on it, so we're going to give it to 6, which is a B. Definitely above average beer. A nice graham cracker taste. Uh, uh, or even a burnt graham cracker taste with the roasted malt that they've used in this. I think the bitterness is just a tad heavy uh, for the sweetness up front. But all in all, a pretty, pretty decent beer. If we can just get them to step up to the plate and date their beers, guys. So, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 87, which is in the very good range. Wouldn't argue with that a bit. And over to Rate Beer, overall 84 and 77 in the style. If I was to put a numeric rating on this beer, uh, not having a date on it, uh, I would probably put it around 85. Uh, decent decent graham cracker. I don't think I've ever done a graham cracker beer before so they pretty much nailed it other than having just a slight heavy bitterness on the back end but nice change up. I enjoyed it so Nate thanks again for sending this one out to me. Uh, rather tasty, uh, rather tasty uh, graham cracker porter so I think they could tweak that just a hair maybe use some lactose or something in the brewing process to give it a little creamier mouth feel and Cut back on the bitterness on the on the bittering hops that they use, uh, but uh, it's pretty pretty pleasant. So, if you've had this one from Denver Beer Company, their graham cracker porter, let me know what you think, and let's see what's in the fridge tomorrow, guys. See you then.